Yeah, my name's Ralph Maiden. I come from uh, New South Wales in Australia. Um, I'm sort of classed as an elder back in uh, where I come from. I was born in 1945 at a place called Peak Hill in central um, New South Wales. Um, the river lines uh, sort of tell you where you come from. I was born on the uh, out from the uh, Bogan River in uh, Peak Hill, where, the, where my uh, mum and dad lived, and we moved around a bit. And now where I'm living back in a little place called Balladora, uh, I, uh, I was sort of lot always involved with my culture by uh, catching different bits of stuff in the bush where my uncle and my nan and my pop and them sort of taught me what to do and uh, I thought well it would be a good idea to uh, to keep it going so I, I, the country camp I run out of Balladora is teaching young kids and even my grandkids and my own family a little bit about the culture that um, you know that has been lost in lots of places and we don't want it to die right out because um, it's very important to us. Well I was very honoured um, to ask to come to Whitley. Uh, a lot of different things was in my mind. How would it look? How would it feel? And when I stepped off the plane and looked around um, I was looking at old buildings and things like that and sort of threw me off a little bit. So when I walked through the, uh, the gateway at the festival and looked around and seen all the different culture, wow, you know, really opened my eyes to see how many people are, are still connected to the land and um, respect the land as, um, as their mother. And I think that's a good thing because um, we're all united here now because of um, our connections and our beliefs are almost, you know, identical when you start um, talking to some of the uh, different people from, you know, where they come from, um, Borneo, all those different little nationalities of uh, 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 tribes that live away and uh, still uh, preach their culture. The dancing is beautiful. And I think our dancing that we brought over here opened people's eyes up. Um, and meeting different people give you a different uh, outlook in life. And similar to what we've got back home, everybody's going through the same thing that we've, we've been through back home by um, losing a bit of their land. Some of our clothes have been taken away. But the strongest people is the elders who keep that going. And that's what, uh, that's what I'm trying to do back home because, you know, that culture is very important. I know I'm an old black fella. I know that, you know, that um, I've got a different culture. Uh, I don't discriminate against uh, the, the colours in, in, uh, in and around the world. And um, just to come in and see all the different, see the Indians, the, oh, what have we got here? Gee. Uh, what are new, whatever they are, they are beautiful, you know, the sounds, the different shells they got, the different music, unreal, you know. When I brought my young grandson over, I always told him, one day we will go overseas, we're here, we experienced, we've got three days to go, we've been here probably going on three weeks, we'll be glad to put our uh, feet back down on the uh, our country back in Australia, and uh, it's going to be really, really good to get back home to my own family. Can you tell me about this woman in the red dress? This woman in the red dress, yeah. Um, back home, they call it link up. So when you're searching for someone for years and you run into them, I tell you what, they look identical. And uh, I have got a uh, sister over in Italy, it was good to meet up with her. You might see it one stage, I hope you do. Because uh, back home they call me, my nickname is Dowie, or old Dowie. 
And funny enough, her name is Dowie. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a lot of uh, positive feedback when uh, we've, at, we've really danced and, um, you know, like, um, it makes you feel proud when uh, when people come up to you and congratulate you on um, on your good efforts. And um, our efforts are um, bound with cultural stuff. It's not effort, it's just natural. And um, that's the reason why we came over here to see how the other part of the, the world is run, how it's run, and some of the problems they got. And um, yeah, when we see other people coming off the stage or wherever they're doing around the, the fire on the hill there, you know, we talk, we congratulate them for their good efforts that they, they, they put into it. And uh, I think everybody's put more than 100% into it because uh, it's, it's really, really good and it's entertaining to see people who can still, you know, like, um, well, I was born in 45, so, you know, I don't know when I'm going to finish up, but I've still got a lot of, a lot of moves in, you know, in, in my body and um, I, I don't know. It's just, it's a good feeling. I've, I've met a lot of good people. Um, I can't translate any of their, their language, but their eye contact, their handshakes, says it all to me because I know it's come from the heart. Mm. One last question. <coughs> Which is, anything else you want to say? Well, first of all, what I'd like to really say is I'd like to uh, thank my, um, all my, um, I'll start with Lewis first, Lewis Burns. Uh, he asked me to come over. I was, uh, appreciate that uh, what Lewis asked me and my grandson, uh, Di and her two uh, uh, her niece and her um, granddaughter and uh, Auntie um, Narelle. We came as a good group and also Reese and we've got on pretty good together and we're going to go on pretty good together and we're going to be friends forever if uh, I don't bring that um, uh, my long lost sister back home with me.